sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation Is there a ramp to get up there? There's gotta be a wheel <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I think there's a wheelchair ramp somewhere. Too heavy for me. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was amazing. I saw some dude got a 10 amp charger for their huck, but I don't know, like the fast charging isn't as good for the battery. Fast charging kills the cell. Yeah. So I, I'd rather have the, the slower charger, right. you know? Okay, well, we're getting power. Yeah, I'm charging. We're good. <laughs> How's Rusty feeling? I don't have Oh, you did? Hi, I know. Can't park here. Uh, we're trying to get a quick charge really quick so we can make it home. You can't park Is there anywhere we can uh, charge? Uh, maybe by one of those outlets by boats. Oh, there's outlets out there? Yeah, but you can't park here. Okay. That's crazy. We, we did this last time and nobody said shit. And I saw you guys when they get the bill. <laughs> right? They're like, damn, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Taking our, Sorry, taking our power. That's all right. I mean, I have to charge somewhere here. Oh, yeah, that same here. Over here, kill my battery. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's basically at the half, well, the visual is at the halfway point, so I don't know what it's it okay. is. I mean, you got pedals. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, don't know. We're, we're, I don't even know how far we are He's now. Past that. I know we're mad far. It's going to take like 40 minutes to get back, right? <laughs> I don't even know how long it took us to get here. Yeah, about at least, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, got about four volts back. Everybody's almost fully charged. What do you got? I'm about 82. 82, nice. Wearing my heated gloves without the heated part on. I got the batteries out. So let's see how just the leather gloves do. Kind of cool looking. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> Hell yeah. How's the star of the show doing? How you doing, Rusty? He's doing good. He say, I'm just chilling. I'm trying to keep warm in here. <laughs> We're gonna go back into town. I guess hit up Dogfish Head. Grab, eat some Dogfish Heads. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to rock? Let's rock and roll. Are everybody hungry? Cause I am. <laughs> I wanted to light up my little huck thing before it got dark. Yeah. All right. These things? Um. You can go to Alibaba. AliExpress, they have them. Okay. Yeah, just look up EL panels. They have huge ones, dude. And then there's places online that gives you instructions on how to cut them so you don't cut the connections or anything. Okay. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're freaking cool, man. They're yeah, so cool. I would love to see that whole panel. Yeah, just, that's what I want to do, this whole section. Oh, I, I would love that. Yeah. How many volts did you get on that hour charge? Uh, I think I went up to it. Three volts? Yeah. Yeah, so I was we... at 79, I'm at 82. So okay. Yeah, three. Three I'm definitely gonna charge again if I can, just just so I can go fast at some point. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want it to cut out like it did on that video. <laughs> <laughs> but I did 52 miles on that ride going 33. Yeah. Tw between 20 and 33. But you know, it's been colder out, so that's why I probably died. Yeah. Faster. There's a car behind us. I think the very first day we came back, not first day, but the one day when you went to go get it at GP, you did 50 miles and you still were at 68 volts. Yeah, we crushed it. <laughs> still had plenty. Yeah. But that other, that last time, yeah, it was a lot colder too. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting that draft. It's It got really windy now, guys. So um, right now, we just got about an hour charge at that little stop right there by the bridge. We're gonna head back into Rehoboth and we're gonna go to Dogfish Head, of course, for you guys. And we're gonna try to get another charge and then we'll rip through uh, through the Cape Hen Lopen Trail again and then we'll probably get a cheesy music video for you guys, finally. I know it's been a little while. I've been missing the cheesy music videos and I'm sure you guys have been also. 
I'm definitely gonna just try to get a draft by Marv. Thank you, Marv, for this awesome draft. I was getting a draft from you. That's all that. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? If you guys are enjoying the ride so far, make sure you guys drop a like for this video. Drop a like for Rusty Roads and all the homies. I hope you guys are enjoying this ride. This is an awesome, fun, just chill, relax. Got to play with uh, a drone. I actually didn't even show you guys. Um, X-Class Mikey brought his DJI Mavic 2, the Mini Mavic 2. That thing is awesome. I don't know if you guys uh, have ever got the chance to see that drone, but it's really, really, really small, super light, extremely nimble, and it's pretty tough for how windy it is today. Like, it, it was definitely doing well in these winds. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a drone and what drone you guys are using. I'm hoping to be bringing my Autel Evo 2 on rides with me once I get the rack, since uh, it's kind of hard bringing that drone. It's a little bit bigger and I have nowhere to fit it on this bike yet. I'm supposed to be getting a rack on this bike pretty soon. I'm hoping uh, may maybe February or March I'll have that rack and hopefully when I get my new RX back I'll have the uh, rack for that one soon. I don't know when they're going to be delivering those racks though. Let's pull over. Oh, they're behind us. I was wondering where they were at. <laughs> Let's just slow down for them. All right, there they are. The slow. Heck, I was going to say, my battery is dying a lot faster than I thought it was. Is it? All right, we'll charge again at uh, Dogfish Head. It says I have 15 miles. Yeah. Okay. We'll slow down then. <laughs> And guys, again, if you want to support your boy Shreddy, check out those links down below. Get $200 off any Huck Cycle. Use code SHREDDYMCSKATE, all one word. And drop a comment down below. Let me know um, if you guys checked out that Wicked Thumb website to check out the other bikes that they have. Um, let me know down in the comments drop, and drop a link to the bike that you like the most. And what mods or what colors do you think I should go with? The seat? The frame color, uh, the handlebar grips, should I get uh, mirrors on it, fenders, just let me know what kind of upgrades you'd like to see on that bike. I'm super excited to get that bike and show you guys that thing. Um, I'm definitely going to be taking that thing on the beach like crazy. I'm getting the sand tires, so they're going to be treaded. I don't think they're going to have white walls on them, but they're looking for something for me that maybe they might be able to get sand tires with white walls. If they do, that will be awesome looking. So I'll definitely be taking it up and down this coast, all the way from Lewis to all the way up here, that miles on the beach. It's gonna be awesome. And the cool thing about it, it's got seven gears, I'll be able to pedal it. So if the bike ends up dying, I'll be able to still rip on it. So that makes me so stoked. I actually was able to uh, pedal the Ariel X-Class, like they had the battery off when we were charging. It's got seven speeds on it. And dude, like riding that bike, it's like a normal bike. It pedals really easy. So man, you can save a lot of battery on bikes that have gears that are easy to pedal with longer crank arms. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Finally get a bike, an e-bike with gears on it. So I won't have to worry about like if this bike dies and I get stuck out, you know, here, I'm pedaling like 10 miles home, you know, it's horrible. But yeah, we should be good on that bike. I'm, I'm so happy. All right, guys, you know what's going on. I gotta ride a little bit through the grass. Gotta ride a little bit through the grass. <laughs> yeah, you know Shreddy likes riding through the grass. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to try out those new shocks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be getting those Ego Boost shocks upgrades that comes with the, uh, well, I guess it doesn't come with the bike, but if you wanna upgrade the bike with those Ego Boost shocks, supposedly they're a little more springy, a little squishier. Um, with these, they're a little bit stiffer. I know you can adjust them, but I want more of a dirt bike feel, kind of like a Cadillac dirt bike-ish feel. So once I get those, we'll show you how to install them, and then I'll do like a little ride and review about them and see if they're worth the upgrade for you guys. I 1000% think it'll be worth the upgrade. I'm actually thinking about upgrading uh, to some bar end mirrors on this thing. 
these mirrors feel like they're a little too far in it might be just too small so you kind of got to move your elbows out of the way to to see the sides and you don't really see too much gummy bears jumping here and there and everywhere we are the gummy bears <laughs> what were they saying? I couldn't hear them. Did they say go Eagles? <laughs> no, I thought they said we love you. Oh, <laughs> I thought they said go Eagles because of the green tank. <laughs> Yee! That's hilarious. Pick it up? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Damn, people are already fired up. <laughs> I saw him taking off. I was like, uh, is he going to stop? <laughs> I'm just honking at every intersection for now on. Keep filming. You're good. Thank you. Hell yeah. That design is awesome. Man, what an awesome scene. <laughs> I know, right? Somebody needs to get this photo. <laughs> Seriously. Buffalo chicken sandwich is destroyed. Clipping all rusty roads back in. Gotta clip them in. Can't have that. Can't the, have the flight of the navigator. <laughs> right. The cutest dog in the world. The only e-biking dog. Protect that dome. Well, not, when we're at home, if I just move the bike, he starts losing it. Oh really? He's like, let's go, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this one? Uh, I, it went up from, I bought it at 4,200, but now they're 49. This one's called a Hux, Hux Stinger. Uh, this has a 30 amp hour battery. It's a 72 volt. Um, the, the hub motor is a uh, 3000 watt. So this has a top speed of about 55 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah. And, and you can turn it to mode one. So it only goes like uh, 20 and under that way. What's that? What is it called? This one's called the Huck cycle stinger. Is that a 2000 watt? Uh, this is 3000 watt. Yeah. Yep. They're made in North Carolina by a army veteran. Yeah. So definitely check them out. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to hit Route 1 and go straight back to the cars. You guys are? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to head home and I think he's going to go home. Rich is too? Yeah. Okay. So, what are you thinking? Uh, I'll see you next time. All right, brother. Hey, man. Nice to meet you, man. Bye, see you. Everybody say goodbye to Trey. That's to Trey. All right, man. And RX Rich is taking off too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to work tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to save more battery. I don't think my battery's gonna last. <laughs> oh, did you you didn't charge it while we were here? No, I didn't. I didn't charge oh. It. You're good, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, brother. Yeah, good riding with you, homie. Be safe. But I'm sure we can get back. Yeah, ride safe on Route One. All right, see ya. Later, bros. See you, bro. Ride safe. Yep. Till next time. Yeah, we'll just hit up that uh, Starbucks right over there. All right. Grab me a frappe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Let's get a <laughs> Can I get a Coca Mocha Espresso Frappuccino? <laughs> Hell yeah, you guys know what I want. Oh, Frappe! Oh, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Shreddy likes his Frappes. <laughs> Dude, look at all that drizzle! Is that an e scooter? Yeah, front wheel drive, baby. E scoots! Hey! Oh, it's called a bird. Birds! Frappe destroyed. Bam! Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, did that lady yell at you? Yeah. What a bitch. I know, I told her she was on the walkway. Eh! <laughs> what the hell? We were right in the middle. Of yeah. That's made for pedestrians. What the hell? People are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better time than right now. Are you guys ready for another cheesy music video? Yeah. Brought to you by Shreddy. <laughs> hey! I'm 
sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation Of everything you wished I'd be What's wrong with this picture? They belong to They all need you They don't want you I just can't handle it all We got a branch of a dying tree And when guys i hope you enjoyed that cheesy music video as much as we enjoyed making it for you night crew baby yeah i'm about to get my pedal on because my freaking legs are cold <laughs> get that pedal on so i'm guessing the batteries definitely hate this cold like even yeah, in the 50s does. yeah because they were killing it earlier yeah it really was and they have plenty of hands left yeah before. yeah I don't know if they're going to make it back. We still got like five miles. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, luckily they can pedal them and it's like normal bikes, so it's not bad. Yeah, at least they have gear. Yeah. Can, are they all the way behind us? Can you guys buy extra batteries for those bikes? They don't have like extra ones you can buy for those? Oh, they do. They're always out of stock. I did not buy them. Oh, they're out of stock? Ah. That, that's always the case, huh? Yeah, right. But the, the 52 volt one comes with one battery too? Damn. Oh, okay. And what, if you kept one of those, could you use that battery on the 52 volt one? Yeah, I wonder. Cause that'd be cool to have something like that as backup. Cause I think once I get a new battery for this, I'll just keep the 30 amp hour battery and just have my backpack just for the extra battery. <laughs> I'll probably hurt, kill my back though. <laughs> this freaking beach breeze is cold. <laughs> no man. That's why I've got it in level three. And just pedal. <laughs> Actually, I, that's a good idea. I'll pedal with you guys. Staying warm. Using <laughs> up a lot of battery. Hell yeah. Oh, this this is a little bit of a hill here. Guys, drop a like for night riding. <laughs> Night rider. Should we ride on the dirt? We're riding on the dirt. Oh. <laughs> That's why I need those shocks. What's that? I said I need the, need the shocks for the. <laughs> 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 Let's see you ride on the dirt. Oh, those shocks are. Look at those shocks. Look at it. Look at those shocks. Oh my god, it's like a Cadillac. <laughs> You can just see it like bouncing like perfect. That freaking rules. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Damn, Mark. 
Oh man, that e-bike is so badass. Bomber Marv, the e-bike wizard. That bike eats him up like nothing. It's actually kind of smooth. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I thought it was going to try to spin the back wheel, but instead it gripped it. It just grabbed and wheelied, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just coasting? Coasting? We've done 40 miles today. How many? 40. We've done 40 miles? That's awesome. Yeah, we're more than 40 miles today, I guess. <laughs> Freaking Aerial X Class. Those bikes are awesome, guys. I know. Definitely, definitely get what you paid for and more on those bad boys. Cool. Mode one is pretty good. I'm full throttle. It's still at 70.8 volts. I'm good. Oh, okay. And as long as I don't go under 60, I think. Well, I think I mean, it. Realistically, you're supposed to be able to go down to 60. 60, yeah. I mean, you should still be like. I can still pull 50 miles an hour when I'm down to 62 volts. Oh damn, really? Yeah. This eats it up when I hit it, hit throttle at like mode two. It'll probably drop under 60 at, I don't know, let's see. Well, it might drop under, but it should come back up. 63. And guys, if you want to see more of Rusty Roads, the coolest e-bike dog in the world, I'll drop a link to the channel right down below. You guys should definitely check it out. Hit subscribe for him. Cool peoples, awesome dog, awesome bikes. I'm stoked that the Christmas lights are still on. Whoa, whiskey throttle there. I'm at 70.6 volts, this thing dies at 60. But if I put it on mode three, it would probably drop under. So Christmassy. Still got the Christmas vibes going on here. Beautiful. Guys, I'm wearing my beanie underneath my helmet and holy crap, it's squishing my ears into the side of my neck and it hurts so bad. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna have an ear imprint on my head. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, 70.6 volts. Man, this bike can go for a while. Oh, guys, when I do that mode one range test, uh, I'm going to get some crazy mileage on this, on that next video. But I, I got to wait for it to warm up a little bit because it's going to be cold. So, so far today, I think we've traveled over 40 miles, which is awesome. It's Christmas time of year. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. 2021 is going to kick ass. I knew it, guys. Stay positive. Stay happy. Love everybody. Love all your friends. It's going to be a kick ass year. I know it. I really, really do. I feel it in my bones. And guys, let me know down in the comments what bike you are looking forward to in 2021 and um, what kind of upgrades you guys want to see me do on the hook. I, I definitely want to know what you guys think. I want to be doing some upgrades to all the bikes I'm going to be getting here. Once I get my RX, I'll definitely be doing the gears, adding another battery. Is that a deer? Yeah, there's a deer. Fox. <laughs> That was cool. Uh, I wanted to do a review on these gloves, but the right one is way smaller than the left one. So it's like uncomfortably tight. It like hurts. It's not good. So I'm thinking about upgrading to the large ones because for some reason they said that there was like a manufacturer's defect on one of the gloves. So they made one finger smaller, which is the middle finger. And I could actually feel it on my knuckles or on my middle finger knuckle. Like it's too tight. Fucking cold. <laughs> yeah. 
My toes are frozen. <laughs> Oh, they're working pretty well, huh? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I'll have to check them out. I got like thick thermal socks on and they're not doing much. <laughs> My hands are warm though, at least. So our first e-bike ride with a doggy. That was awesome. <laughs> Coolest dog. Rusty Rose, again, I'll drop a link for that channel down below. <laughs> Battery's dead? Just about. Oh, snap. Yeah, I was riding my, um, I was riding my RX on those trails back by the, uh, in Gordon's Pond. Yeah. One day, I was going like 30 miles an hour. Freaking bunny pops out in front of me. I had, I had no time to really think. I, I didn't even hit my brakes. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get wrecked. Next thing you know, I didn't feel anything. I turned around, that bunny's dead, snapped in half. Oh. Right behind me, I felt so bad, dude. Oh, much better. I took off the beanie. My ears feel great now. <laughs> you alright? Hold on. What fell? Oh, there it is, right there. Where was that at? Where was it at? I was, uh... Do you have like a strap for it? Uh, yeah, you gotta get one of these foam mounts. Tack form, that's where it's at. The tack form foam mount, it'll it has like a real good grip on it. Link down below if you guys are interested. The tack form foam mount, this thing has been awesome. Link down below, Alec. <laughs> We're on mode one, going full throttle, about you know 18, 19 miles an hour, and we are at 70 volts. And when I let go, it goes up to 71.2. So let's put it in mode two. I think we can uh, kind of go a little bit faster now. Try to catch up to the homies before they, they take off. Want to see the homie Rusty Rhodes, man. That, that little guy is so cool. X-Class Mikey, X-Class Mike. Thank you guys for joining on that ride, man. It was so much fun. I hope to ride with you guys again very soon. Very soon. I'll definitely be making it over to DC here soon once I get my uh, Wicked Thumb Bike. That's going to be awesome. I'm going about 27 down to 68.1 volts. It's kind of hitting the full throttle now. Oh yeah, I'm feeling nice and warm tonight. Got my heated jacket, the heated gloves. Luckily, I can turn these heated gloves in and get bigger ones because, man, that right one is killing my hand. I'll be reviewing these again, like, pretty soon once I get the newer ones. And I'll tell you what brand they are and everything. Yo, turn this way. Mikey, Mike. Yeah, so, man, what a fun day, guys. That was a long, fun day. Always, always a good time on the group rides. Like, you cannot beat these group rides. We'll end up by the, our spot. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of our journey. Let's wait for all the homies to get back here because I don't want to end it without the homies. I hope you guys enjoyed that ride as much as we enjoyed it because we had a blast. There goes Barbara Marv, the wizard, the e-bike wizard. Hell yeah, that was a fun ride. Hell yeah. I cannot believe we made it on I know, dude. Th dude, those bikes kick ass, man. Mike, that was a fun ass ride. Hell yeah. Alec, you guys kick ass. That was, that was so much fun, man. So much fun. I wish we could keep going, man. I, I, I'm, I'm going to need a charge though pretty, pretty soon here. Check out the bikes one more time just because they're so cool. The Aerial X Class. Badass bike. These are, dude, these things can have some range for the batteries, dude. I couldn't believe it. They stay cold. That is awesome. Awesome. Look at the, look at all those lights I have on there. What? It's like a freaking robot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like just so lit up. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Close encounters of the third kind. 
All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And to support the channel again, make sure you guys check out those links down below. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? Yeah. In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. I'll see you in the next Huck and Ride.